Hello, hello everyone. It's Rachel here with Makers Gonna Learn. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, be sure to click that subscribe button and leave us a comment down below if you have any questions about what we do. But guys, we are an awesome team that has a die cutting membership site called Makers Gonna Learn. You can check it all out in the very first link below. But if you have a die cutting machine that works with SVG and PNG cut files, you will adore our membership. Go see what we all have to offer over there. But anyways, guys, today we have a super fun video showing you guys all the things that you need to get to make a wreath from the dollar store, okay? So we have a lot of different wreath uh, forms and ribbon and, you know, little knickknacks that you can find around the Dollar Tree to really help you when making wreaths. So if you're excited, let's jump into it. Okay guys, first things first, let's talk about the wreath forms that you can find. Now, we went to our local Dollar Tree around uh, August, late August, and we found these wreath forms there. Now, if you guys know the Dollar Tree, you know they're always changing their inventory and changing what they have, and they get uh, they get gone with a lot of good things really fast. People tend to go in there and grab the good stuff really, really quickly, so just watch out. Uh, try to go to different stores if you can't find what you're looking for at one particular store, but they have three different wreath forms here that you can see, and and one of them that's probably one of my favorites is this woodwind and it's just a very beautiful simple wood like woven uh, wreath form it's really pretty you can spray paint this you can leave it the way it is you know there's a lot of possibilities with a wreath form like this uh, one thing i love about it is that you don't have to cover the whole thing with flowers uh, tanner did an awesome video earlier about some uh, projects you can make from the dollar store for fall and there was a beautiful fall wreath in that video and we didn't have to cover it all because this natural wood color looks really pretty with a wreath that only had a little bit of flowers on it so definitely go check that video it'll be in the uh, description down below and then they have a very standard wreath form which again guys all this is a buck and it's really hard to beat that if you go to hobby lobby you'll be paying four or five dollars even more for the same exact wreath form and this one's just a dollar and it's a great wreath form for regular um types of bouquets and you know all kinds of stuff um you can make so many wreaths with this wreath form okay you can use the tool and the you know the deco mesh to use uh, to make wreath, uh, wreaths on this wreath form or what these are really pretty for that we use them at my wedding for is we had um, something kind of like this but larger to you know to fit well in here and then we laid it down and then filled in flowers all around it and it was a beautiful little piece that sat you know around like a, a pretty lantern with a candle in it or something like that so that's another thing you could do this you don't just have to hang them on the door you know you can lay them down and make sure it looks beautiful from a lot of angles from this direction and make one like that which is really beautiful and that brings me to our little foam wreath form here and this one is really cool. It's just called floral foam here. And they have a ton of different floral foams there. They've got, you know, the squares, the triangles, the cone shapes. They've got the rings here. And it's just great if you want to do a little floral uh, arrangement here. These are really, really cute to hang up to. So if you want to cover the entire thing in flowers, cover the entire thing, hang some ribbon on it, and then hang it up. And that's really pretty. It's a really full uh, 360 wreath form idea that can be made really easily because this whole thing uh, is foam. So you can put flowers around the whole thing unlike this to where you're kind of limited to the front curved part you know with this guy you can do it 360 all the way around if you wanted to and have a really really beautiful uh, wreath from that and then moving on guys they always have a beautiful assortment of um, ribbon now we need to do the math and tell you guys you know definitively if you are saving money and you are getting a good deal uh, with the ribbon that they have it's all the ribbon that I found um, is like nine feet so you get three yards of it and all of these are three yards this one says three yards these two say nine feet so of course it's all the same but uh i don't really know if that's a great price for a dollar to get nine feet now you're thinking oh man nine feet you know three yards that's a quite a bit when you're making big you know bows for your wreaths or really big decorative bows for you know really anything you tend to eat up a lot more ribbon that way so we will have to see if it's really worth the money but again guys if you're in a pinch, you can't really beat it for a buck and they have really pretty fall designs like this. This is an evergreen video. You guys can use this you know, video for whatever you're wanting to do wreath-wise, but we did pick up some fall 
uh, ribbon to show you guys today. It's a really, really cute uh, way to kind of take the project from evergreen to fall if you want to do that. If you want to make a wreath with uh, kind of more neutral flowers, switch out bows every year. You can go to the Dollar Tree and look at just ribbon if you want to and you can make a big bow and just switch out your bows on your wreath so you don't have to work too hard or spend too much money. That's a fun idea as well. But there are some tools that you will need to get at the Dollar, Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, you know, any place. Now, me and Tanner talk about this all the time. I think if we talk about um, Dollar General and Family Dollar and things like that, that's kind of a bit of a cheat because things are over a dollar there. We're talking about dollar stores that everything is a dollar or less. That's what we're talking about. So all of this stuff here is from the Dollar Tree, which is, as you know, if you guys have Dollar Tree, everything is a dollar or less, which is really cool. But anyways, you need to get you some pliers. Now, uh, these actually are not from the Dollar Tree, but I just was there just this morning. They do have them, but they're needle nose, but they have the cut, they have the cutter down at the bottom of the needle, needle nose pliers. Um, if you are aware of that, then you know that they are there. They're down at the bottom there. And you can use these to snip whatever you need to your floor wire and things like that. And floral wire is another thing that I could not find at the Dollar Tree. There was, and I was so tempted to get it, like in the automotive section, there was wiring, like little packs of actual actual wire, like that you wire a house with or, you know, whatever. And I was so close to getting that and using that as floral wire. And I'm sure you could if you wanted to, if you were in a pinch. So that is another great thing to note that you can get that um, wiring. I just didn't, I didn't know if I wanted to buy it or not. I didn't even know if I wanted to mention it in the video. But again, us crafters here, we love to use things that are intended for one you know, one thing for another thing and just adapt it to our crafting. So I should have bought that. I should have showed you guys, but I'm sorry. I've let you down. But along with that, you guys can find floral tape there at the Dollar Tree. Um, floral tape is great. You can use it for a ton of different crafts, not just for, you know, wrapping up all your floral decorations and things like that. So grab you some floral tape. Uh, we also need zip ties for a lot of projects when it comes to, um, wreaths and wreath forms and making a wreath and things like that these are a real behind the scenes lifesaver because you also need some um this is cure pops that's weird but you know these are just pop cleaners is what i've always called them crafting pop cleaners you can get these there these do a good job but sometimes you need a little bit more heavy duty of a product and both of these can be found at the dollar store and at this they came in a little bit crazy colors there wasn't just a pack of white or a pack of brown or anything like that but you're not going to see these because again like these uh red the larger ones are red and the smaller ones are um uh, black but the zip ties here and the pop cleaners they're behind the scenes okay so you're not going to be able to see them unless you really look for them unless you like dig under your uh, wreaths and see them so these are totally fine to be kind of wacky colors because they totally work and another thing guys that we have found this fall that i'm sure you can find year around in different colors is the um glitter tool and this is i think their version of like the deco mesh you know and this comes in six inches by three yards so an another product with nine feet um and i bought 12 of these i will be honest with you guys i have no idea how much tool it takes to make a wreath um i'm gonna find out but um i love that this was just a dollar i love that they had several different colors but they didn't have enough of the colors i wanted so i decided to just get 12 of the same color and i'm going to be testing out and seeing just how much tool it uh you know, needs to make a proper deco mesh um, wreath. So stay tuned for that video. I'll be making uh, several awesome little uh, wreath videos coming up to uh, end out the fall and everything like that. So definitely keep your eyes out for those. But another thing, last but not least, something that you kind of can't make a wreath without and that is flowers. So uh, the Dollar Tree, you know, has a uh, lot of silk flowers and we have this that is a bunch that is kind of, um, well, not kind of, definitely fall. So you see these here, uh, these are from fall. And the reason why there's not a lot is because I've actually used them for other projects. So I've cut the stems off. So don't think you only get two for a dollar. It's just me, I've been crafting with them. So there's those and these really pretty 
orangey ones that remind me of a pumpkin. And then they have this dark, dark purple daisies that are really, really pretty. And they kind of like bring out the Halloween in a, uh, in a little uh, wreath here. And then they also have these, um, these leaves, which I really like. And they have leaves that are just like this with no plastic of veining. And then they also have those in a bag. So you can purchase just the leaves in a bag or you can purchase these as a bundle if you want to. I like the bundle to cut them off, kind of stick them where I want to stick them. I think it's a great uh, way to kind of like add a little bit more personality to your wreath when you're making it for the fall season. It's to just kind of, you know, stick them in your wreath and uh, give it a little bit more fall touch. And then they also have evergreen flowers, guys. Flowers for the other times the year that is not fall uh, these are beautiful spring and summer flowers and I did find these right now so it's not like they take away all of their evergreen flowers and make room for only the fall flowers they have these all the time so I found this pretty flower do they say what it is Do oh these are dahlias so they they do say what that is they're so funny okay so this is dahlias and they're like white creamy color which is really pretty these guys are more dahlias, except these are yellow. Um, I love those. This is daisies, and this is gerbera daisies. Gerbera, gerbera. So I got two different types of daisies and two different types of dahlias, but I really like the way they look together. Like, look at that mix of flowers. Is that not a beautiful color combination for the spring and summer? My grandmother would be cringing if she watched this. She has such a green thumb and she helps me pick out my flowers every single spring to plant at my home. And I can't even remember the names of these basic ones. So I'm sorry, Memo B and anybody else watching this that is just sad for me. I promise I will learn my flowers sooner or later. But guys, that is all I have for you today for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I just love all the flower options and all the wreath forms. I honestly had no idea that the Dollar Tree had this many wreath forms uh, available and it was really fun to see and to know that all of this stuff was just a buck blows my mind, okay? Tanner mentioned in a video that once you buy so much stuff from the Dollar Tree, it doesn't kind of feel like a Dollar Tree anymore. But to me, it does. It feels like you're getting a ton of stuff for your money because everything's a dollar. But I guess when you do swap that credit card and the total is $50, $60, you don't feel like you're getting a great deal. But that's because we had two buggies full of stuff. And you guys, I'm sure, go crazy like that as well. But I hope that you go and you find you some pretty fall ribbon and some flowers and grab this little uh, glitter tool and all these reforms and see what you can make with them. But anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun making it. And as always, guys, click the link in the description below to see more about Makers Gonna Learn, your ultimate die cutting community. We have over 1,300 cut files, over 250 fonts, a free commercial license, free printable guides, and a members only Facebook group, and much much more so go see all the crafty goodness you're missing in the first link in the description below and go to Dollar Tree and get all of this stuff because you need it bad as always guys please stay crafty and have a great rest of your day bye